How much money you have after Navy boot camp is an answer that can vary pretty widely based on a number of factors, and we're gonna go over all of them. So the biggest factor that can change how much you have is your enlistment bonus. So what an enlistment bonus is, is the Navy will give you a lump sum of cash in order to incentivize you to do certain things like pick a certain job or join at a certain time. Over at Recruit Training Command or RTC, which is Navy boot camp, from like January until the middle of the year, it's like quiet by comparison versus the rest of the year because around you know June, July, everybody graduates high school at once. So everybody that chose the military at 18 is gonna show up there all at once. So the Navy doesn't want to have like a bunch of wasted space between the beginning of the year, January, until the big rush in the middle of the year when everybody graduates. So they'll offer oftentimes, not always, you should talk to your recruiter about it, but an enlistment bonus of a couple thousand dollars to join before that rush, which is what I got. I got a $4,000 enlistment bonus because I joined before the high school rush. That $4,000 was made available to me upon graduation of boot camp. It was direct deposited right into my bank account, and there it was, but it was taxed. So what should have been $4,000 turned out to be, say, you know, $3,700, something like that, assuming they took 10% off for taxes. It was taxed, but it was direct deposited, and I got all of it. Right after I graduated Navy boot camp, they raised the enlistment bonus up to $25,000. $25,000 just to join the Navy and graduate boot camp, which really is not that difficult. I mean, you're not going to buds. $25,000. So make sure you look up the resources online, talk to your recruiter and talk to the people at MEPS about your enlistment bonus. Make sure that if there is a big one like that, you're entitled to it and you receive it. The second thing that's gonna make a difference of how much money you have after boot camp is what pay grade you're at. So you can be E1, E2, or E3. You know, if you're E1, you're the lowest rate. If you're E2, you're the second one. If you're E3, you're the third rate in the Navy. And there is a difference of pay grade. All the branches are paid the same, base pay, but E1, E2, E3, those are the three rates that you can have upon joining. Now, in order to get E2 and E3, you need to have like previous ROTC experience, college credits, you need to have passed the depth test like I did, that's how I got E2, and that's gonna change how much you're paid as base pay. The first checks that you receive in boot camp are gonna be very, very small because they make you pay for the sea bag. The sea bag is the green, you know, like Forrest Gump, the big green bag that you get that's full of all of the Navy uniforms and uniform items, awards, all the stuff, shoes, boots, everything that you need to serve anywhere you go. Everything the Navy wants you to have is in that sea bag and everything beyond that is stuff you buy on your own, like after boot camp or at the Navy exchange on base in boot camp and after obviously, but. Everything the Navy wants you to have, they're gonna to give to you, but they make you pay for it, and the cost of that is deducted from your first paychecks in boot camp, which can be a lot, because you know it probably costs like between $700 to $1,000 to pay for the entire sea bag contents, and that is a huge hit for paychecks that could be you know, $750, $850 each if you're at E1 or at E2 in boot camp. How much money I had after Navy boot camp? I checked my bank account in the airport and the total amount was the enlistment bonus I mentioned, the 3,700, which was $4,000 enlistment bonus after taxes, plus the Navy base pay as an E2 because I went from E1 to E2 in boot camp because of the depth test. The total amount for me, Navy pay was $5,000. That's how much I got from the Navy at graduation's end. I'm just gonna take the opportunity right now to say, if you receive thousands and thousands of dollars to join the military, do not blow it all as soon as you graduate on ridiculous things like cars and TVs and stuff like that. Don't you know, take out a huge car loan with a 47% interest rate. Come on, don't be stupid, you're smarter than that. Do the right thing, save a lot of it. You, know, you lived without it before, save a bunch of it and then spend a little bit later you know, to celebrate graduation or something, to eat out a couple times with your family, but don't blow your enlistment bonus. Don't spend all of your Navy pay up until now.